Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Epoxy and here in this video I'll be showing you how to install the Mod Organizer Alpha 4 by 10 and 1 and this is my personal preference for Mod Organizer or Mod Managers for any game really. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the download installation of this. So the link for this will be down in the description on these below and it's actually a pretty simple installation but I'm going to be showing you a few little tips when we get in to the actual program itself as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and do this. Once you're on this page, it will show you Alpha 4. If you're watching this video at a later date, it might show Alpha 5, Alpha 6, depending on how many alphas he releases. And we can go ahead and just start off with the Alpha 4. It should be about the same process for each one. So let's go ahead and click on the executable here, and this will allow us to download it right to our desktop. And once it's downloaded to our desktop, we can go ahead and just run it. And it's set to already run as admin. Let's go ahead and just go through this process. Hit next. I agree. On here, on this scroll down page, you're going to want to make sure that everything is indeed checked. So everything here. And then it doesn't matter whether you have a start menu shortcut, but you do want to check off handle Nexus links so that when you click download with manager on the Nexus sites, it uses Mod Organizer instead. Just go ahead and click next. You can install it to wherever you want. I'm personally going to choose my follow for directory. So let's go ahead and find where that is now. So we can go to this PC. We can go to my games, Steam, Steam apps, common, find follow for. And then I'm going to make a new folder inside follow for called mod organizer in brackets alpha. Four, just so I know what version it is and then we want to go ahead and select that click OK and install and it will be a very fast installation it should only take 30 seconds or less so once you have completed that it will bring you to this right here we can go ahead and check or check off run mod organizer let's go ahead and just run it and right here is where it gets a little bit confusing for some people that don't know what this is so right here, we've got portable, everything in one directory, only one game per installation. Now the portable installation is my preference for this, but there is also regular, which is data in separate directory, multiple games supported. Now the reason why I like using the portable is because this is an alpha and I don't want to be using other games such as Skyrim, Fall New Vegas and Fallout 3. I don't want to be using that on the alpha. So I suggest using portable and just sticking with that. If you're going to use the regular, I suggest putting the mod organizer just somewhere in your program files or something like that, or just in your Steam directory overall, as it will use multiple games. So let's go ahead and go with the portable, and it will launch up mod organizer alpha 4. It will ask you a few different things, give you a message of the day. It's asking if you want to see the tutorial. We're going to go ahead and ignore that. And here we are. We have multiple different launch options. We have F4SE, which I have installed. We have Fallout 4 and the Fallout Launcher. You can also add some by going into here and finding them. We also have our plugins, our data, our saves, which we can see here, and our downloads. And then we have a few different settings options that you can go through if you really want to. It's not really that big of a deal. Not None of this you really have to worry about, so you can just keep it as is. And I'm going to show you how to install just a simple basic texture mod and we'll actually do that right now. So I'm just going to be installing a very basic mod in this video. There are some more complicated mods later on, but uh, it's not really that big of a difference. And usually it's going to be sort of like installing a very simple program where basically you just click next, choose the options that you want, click next, so on and so forth. So anyways, let's go ahead and go to the Fallout 4 texture optimization project by Torture. And we're going to be installing this in this video. So let's go ahead and go to files and then we want to find the files that we need. So here we have two different parts that he has separated. So we're going to want to download part one and we're going to want to download part two. Now this might actually take quite some time and I'm actually going to have to log in here. So I will quickly do that. That is a nice little tip. You should probably log in or else you're not going to be able to actually download the mods. I actually just cancel that and then you're going to want to go to your downloads tab this is where you're going to see all your downloads all your downloaded mods and they will stay there even after you install them unless you delete them manually so let's go ahead and also download the optional hotfix for grass being weird 
So I'm going to download this just basically as a backup in case I have any of the grass issues. Sometimes some people won't have any of the issues that there are fixes for. So I'm going to have that there just as a backup just in case. And there we go. And what I'm doing there is just clicking download with manager. So that is basically how we download it. It's going to be a very simple installation, especially because it's not a faux mod or anything like that. It's just a straight up texture mod. So I'm going to be showing you how to get this installed and everything and working properly as soon as it's done downloading. All right. So when your files are ready to be installed on mod organizer, all you have to do is double click to install just as it says. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit larger. And all we want to do is simply double click on part one and let's rename it to just texture optimization project. Let's go ahead and make sure that we have this set up correctly. Let's skip through this tutorial. Now, this is something that's a little bit different about the installation in Mod Organizer than that of Nexus Mod Manager, but it's very simple. You can see that it says no game data on top level. You want to make sure that the data folder is on the top level for your mod installation. So all you want to do is simply right click the data folder and set it as the data directory. And then it should say looks good when everything is set up correctly. And once you've done that, you can then click OK and then it will install. And then we can go ahead and wait for that to finish and then move on to part two. So now that the installation for part one is installed, let's go ahead and double click to install part two. And we want to make sure that it's renamed as the same thing. It should normally recognize that you renamed it. So we can see that it's just texture optimization project. Let's go ahead and click manual again. And let's go ahead and set the data directory and hit OK. And we can see right here that it says the mod already exists. Now what this is saying is that it's recognizing that there's already files in the name texture optimization project. So it's wondering why or how you want to install this to make it work with what you already have installed. So if we were to press replace, what it would do is remove all the files from texture optimization project and get rid of those completely from part one. And then it would install part two as if it was like an updated version. Now the merge will actually merge the two. So it will merge part two in to part one. And then if it has any of the same files, it will then overwrite those same files. Let's go ahead and just press merge and then it will install. Now let's go ahead and install the possible hotfix and we can go ahead and manually install this. It's already set up correctly. Sometimes it will indeed be set up correctly right off the bat. Let's go ahead and click OK. And once again, let's go ahead and merge. And what that will do is replace the files in which had problems beforehand and it will still keep all the part one and part two without deleting it all. So now that we have it here, we have everything installed correctly. What we want to do now is simply check off texture optimization project. And something I want to know here is that this also allows profiles. So for example, if I wanted a vanilla profile, I could do so. So let's say default is just going to be default. Let's go ahead and make a brand new profile for say mod testing. And let's go ahead and hit OK. And we can go ahead and close and then we go to mod testing. Let's enable that and then say we go back to default. It'll uncheck it. If we go back to mod testing, it'll check it off and it all does it instantaneously. So once we have that enabled, let's go ahead and just launch up the game with F4 SE and see whether everything is working correctly. All right. So now that we're in game, I can already tell that the texture optimization project is well working and I'm even getting better performance and I'm still getting a performance hit because I'm recording with two softwares right now, which is just a pain in the ass. But here we are. That's literally as simple as it gets with installing mods on Mod Organizer. And I just, I gotta say, I love it. And I'm glad that we are now to this point where we have a few tutorials here for Fallout 4 and we all can get to modding our games like crazy. I'm sure a lot of you already have your games modded insanely, but there's always people getting the game on PC every single day. And there's going to be people that want to look up these tutorials or go back to these tutorials in the future. So hopefully this follow for modding guide did help you out somewhat with getting mod organizer alpha four working correctly. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight. If you haven't already, it would be super greatly appreciated. 
In addition, check out SugarBomb.com, the beautiful forum website for all Bethesda fans. There's even a section to talk to Mr. Matty Plays, Fudge Muppet, myself, and more if that's something you're interested in. So anyways, until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.